In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbCl2 plus K2CrO4. This is lead to chloride. This is potassium chromate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I have two potassium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a two in front of the KCl. Now I have two potassiums, two chlorines, two chlorines here, lead, lead, and then we have the chromate ion here and here. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If we look lead to chloride up on a solubility table, we'll see that it's slightly soluble. Lead compounds often are either insoluble or slightly soluble. This is slightly soluble. We consider that to be insoluble with net ionic equations. So we're just going to write S. This will be a solid. The potassium compounds, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble. Put an AQ for aqueous. Lead to chromate here. This is another lead compound. It's insoluble. So we write S. And then we have chlorine here and potassium, very soluble, AQ for aqueous. So these are the states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. We can't split solids apart, so that's just going to be PbCl2. We'll write the states later. Potassium group 1 on the periodic table has a 1 plus, and the whole chromate ion is 2 minus. So this is one you'd either look up or have memorized. So we have two potassium ions, two of these potassium ions, and then we have the chromate ion. That's the CrO4, two minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, again, we're not going to split solids apart. So we have PbCrO4, and then we'll have the potassium and the chloride ion. So two potassium ions, and the two goes to everything, so plus two of those chloride ions. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross the spectator ions out on both sides. So the only thing I see that's the same in the reactants and the products, that's the potassium ion right here, again in the products. Let's get rid of that. And this is the net ionic equation for PbCl2 plus K2CrO4. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for this lead to chloride plus potassium chromate. You'll notice charge is conserved. I have two minus in the reactants and the products two times one minus. That's two minus. So charge is the same on both sides. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbCl2 plus K2CrO4. Thanks for watching.